Well, as we've been reporting recently, China's economy is slowing down further, and that has also led to weaker demand for consumer goods. And the disappointing growth is now also transforming consumer preferences. For more on this, Lin Yijing joins us live from Shanghai. Yijing, what are the details? Well, yes, Michelle, the fast-moving consumer goods, uh, or FMCG market in China, grew 4.4% in the first quarter of this year, compared with a nearly 12% rise in 2012. Now, despite of the demand slowdown, however, we see that local Chinese brands have gained more share over their foreign competitors. The report was jointly conducted by consulting firm Bain and & Company and research company Kanta World Panel. The report shows domestic company sales grew by 10 percent in 2014 and continued to rule most markets. Sales of local FMCG brands are noticeably up at Walmart. For example, the detergent producer Levi enjoyed double-digit growth in the first five months of this year compared to the same period last year. Sales of rice, cooking oil and wine produced by the China Oil and Food Import and Export Corporation increased 99 percent year on year. Local brands now account for about 70 percent of total FMs for 87 percent of the total market growth. Consumers say they are increasingly willing to buy big-name local products. I often buy local brands like Dabao. I've used them for years, and I'll continue to use them. They're more affordable than foreign brands, and they work well on my skin. The report says foreign companies lost share in big and small cities, but particularly in China's biggest cities where they previously were more competitive. Well, 2014 marks the third straight year that foreign brands lost market share in China. Bain and Company says that uh, domestic companies are becoming more competitive over time because they react faster to decision making and execution. And also, they're trying out new products that are appealing to China's shoppers. Back to you, Michelle.